Hey everybody, this is uh, G. Roo, and today I'm going to show you how to work on a Ford Fusion Hybrid uh, and replace the injectors. So, this is what you do. First off, what did I do first? Well, there's a lot of controversy on the internet about what to do first. So the very first thing that I did was this. Go over here to the rear of the car, right behind the driver's seat, and right here, you're gonna pull this panel off that goes back here. Here's the panel. And this is the fuel control module. See this right there? Set this up so you all can see. Pull this out of here, and this essentially releases this stops the fuel pump, right? And it's right, you got to drop the back seat down, and it's right be behind that panel. Uh, how did I figure that out? I bought the book, the Haynes book, and it told me how to do it. So what else did I do? Oh, then I went to the back, uh, to the battery that's in the trunk, and disconnected the negative ground. Why? Because the book told me to do so. So I did it. You can see this is a hybrid. There's an electrical part. Here's a gas motor. This is a 2.0 four-cylinder motor. I took the main cover off, which is right there. I'm shining a light on it. And that goes right here. And then after I did that, what else did I do? Uh, disconnected all the coils, one, two, three, four. Right? Disconnected the electrical harness everywhere and anywhere that I could find it. I took off these screws here. This was holding that plastic uh, motor cover. Then here's a fuel rail, right? And then you've got the one, two, three, four fuel injectors back in there. Disconnect the uh, fuel injector electrical lines. Disconnect all this. I'm still going to put this together, right? Uh, then the, the other tricky part was this. Here's the fuel rail, and here's the fuel line that connects to the fuel rail. How do you get that off? So I bought this from Harbor Freight. These little plastic thingamajigs are supposed to fit on here, from what I could tell. I'm not really sure. And it's supposed to pop this rail off. I thought there's no way that I could do it unless these fit. Right, so then I also bought this guy here to try and fit it in there. And one of them does fit, the other one doesn't. So neither of these two, this is nine bucks at Harbor Freight, this was six bucks. So $15 down the tubes because that don't fit in the cord. For whatever reason i can get it to fit uh maybe i didn't do it right it was very difficult so i said screw it let me try and see if i could just move everything out of the way wiggle it around and pop these puppies out and that's what i did so with the pressure released uh, quite a bit of gas leaks out but i put a bunch of shirts um all those guys down there put them stuffed them in here so then it would capture all the fuel it smells like gasoline a lot, so I'm going to let it sit before I try to crank it. Let the fumes evaporate, maybe clean it up a little bit more. So I essentially, I replace this, these little clips back here. These pop to the side. You just pop them to the left and the right, and then this pulls right out. But I pulled it out without unclipping them. It's better to pull them out with the clips on and then unclip them and also this thing here this rail it pivots it'll pivot up like this 
one. So once you pull it out, then you pivot it up and it's easy to work with. It's easier than I thought. The tricky part was trying to figure out how to work with fuel without catching yourself on fire or blowing up your house or car. Uh, but um, thankfully, um, it's uh, cold out here. I'm in Virginia. It was about 40 degrees in my garage, so I don't have any issues with uh, heat catching this gasoline on fire or anything like that, which is really good. But um, but that's about it. I took them out. I changed out the the O-rings on uh, two, three, and four injectors. I only bought one new one because my computerized little gadget that I that I have that I bought from you know, Harbor Freight says it was cylinder one. Uh, the car was acting real erratic. It was shut off after 20 or 30 minutes. And then I tested it with the computer and it says cylinder, uh, cylinder one fuel injector. So I bought that, it was 45 bucks for one. And the dealership said that it's rare that all of them will go out but then some other YouTube videos say you should change them out. So I'll try it. And if this seems to work and if the car is acting funny, then I could change out the other three. But I'd rather have it acting funny than just shutting off completely, which is what it does now after about 20 or 30 minutes of driving. So for the other fuel injectors that I did not uh, replace, uh, I changed the O-rings right here. You can see still have four left. Uh, this bag cost me a whole three bucks at the Ford dealership over here in Virginia. And uh, they were easy to take off the fuel injectors. I cleaned up the fuel injectors, put the old ones back, and put the new one in. And I let the car sit overnight. And then we'll see what happens. See if it'll if it catches fire or <laughs> anything. Hopefully it's in there pretty good. Um, when I crank it up, I'll leave the the plastic cover off just to make sure there's nothing burst in the flames or anything like that. Hopefully it'll start like that. I think it will without the cover because there is one electronic. I think it's an air sensor right here. Something that goes. Oh yeah, and this one too. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it'll it'll crank without that stuff vacuum hose I think it will crank but I I cannot put that plastic cover on it until I make sure that I don't have gas squirting all over the place all right well that's all I thought I'd just help a little bit with uh, Ford Fusion Hybrid 2013 because I didn't see anything about the hybrids. Not much about the hybrids online on YouTube. So that's what I'm offering. That Yes, you can do it. I changed out all my coils and my spark plugs in there. And I replaced the uh, valve cover seal in there. All that was fairly easy. Bit by bit, I'm learning this car, uh, this motor really well. By the time I learn everything about it, it'll be time to get another one. <laughs> oh well, that's how life is. But it's it's been fun working on it. Anyhow, alright folks, well good luck with your vehicle. And uh, this is G. Rue from Virginia. And enjoy, good luck.